You are able to clock in and out of your shifts from both the full site and the mobile site of OnTarget. This video will walk you through clocking in and out from the full site. Once you have arrived at your site and are ready to clock in for the shift, log in to OnTarget. Then click on the clock in button at the top of your screen. You must then choose the shift that you are clocking into, then click confirm. If you are within the acceptable range of the work site, then the system will successfully clock you in, which can be verified at the top of your screen. You can also track your clock in records on the dashboard in the My Time Clock Records dashlet. Here you will see the scheduled start time and end time of your shift along with the actual start and end time from your clock in and out activity. In the event that you forget to clock in, the system will send you a notification via a task to remind you. You can see an example of one here. This would notify you both through your email if you have those notifications turned on and also through your dashboard once you log in for the first time during your shift and it is 15 minutes after the start of your shift and you have not yet clocked in. When you are ready to clock out, you will simply click clock out and acknowledge the prompt assuring that you are ready to do so. You can clock in and out of your shifts as much as you need to do so in order to properly record your time in attendance. Your timesheet will automatically pull in all of your in-range clock in and out records, as in this example here. This will happen after you complete your notes by signing off on them and then once your supervisor approves. You will see your shift time in and out with your actual time in and out below. The actual time in and out captured by your clock in and out activity is what you will get paid for. Any clock ins that are not within range, meaning you have clocked in or out and you are not within a certain range of the work site, then your supervisor will need to approve those records before they make it to your timesheet. Let me show you an example. When choosing clock in, I'm going to choose the other shift for home A2. When clicking confirm, I will get a message saying out of range. You are not within the allowed distance of the site for which you are clocking in. If you choose to override this message, your time record will not be paid until a supervisor approves this. You may choose to continue to clock in or send a task, which will not clock you in, but rather send a message to your supervisor or send a task and clock in, which is recommended so that you can alert your supervisor as to why you are not within range. Maybe notifying them that you had to pick the client up from the doctor, for example, and therefore are knowingly not at the scheduled work site. Or you may cancel to close out completely, which will not clock you in. Finally, there is one more option to review. When clicking clock in, if you receive a message that there are no shifts, meaning you are not assigned to a shift, you may either pick up a shift or send a task to your supervisor. Click OK to pick up a shift or send a task to communicate with your supervisor and have them help you by assigning you to a shift. To pick up a shift, follow these steps. Search for the site you are trying to clock in at. Then find the day on the calendar and the corresponding shift. If I wanted to pick up the third shift today, I could click on that shift and find the caregiver whose shift I was picking up. In this case, if I was taking Chris Stapleton's spot, I would just click the green check against that row. By clicking yes, 
I have now picked up the shift of Chris Stapleton and I can begin clocking in. Now clicking clock in, I see my shift and can confirm. The other option is if you are not picking up anyone's shift, but rather you are adding yourself, meaning you're not picking up the shift for John Doe or for Supergirl, but you need to add yourself as a third person on this shift, then you can click the add self to shift.